Well, I got up today, was thinking about going fishing, and I ended up seeing a shackle that had worn through. It's supposed to attach up here. But it's not now. The bolts are worn. I'm sure you can see the wear on the bolt there. Both ends. So I got new bolts. I got new plastic sleeves for inside of all these. We'll see how it goes. So guys, be safe. You can see I got a jack stand here. I do have one in the back. I got my floor jack under the axle to take the weight off of it. I'm going to start disassembling this. It's not that bad. My boat's not old, so the bolts aren't really rusted on yet, which is a good thing for me. That one is off and loose. Let's see. Time to grab a hammer. So some of these bolts like this one here that is actually pretty stuck in, what happens is when they tighten it up, you can see the the buckle here. It, it just smashes so it holds the bolt a little tighter. It may take a bit, but you can get it out. I think I can probably turn it out with the impact. Here we go. You'll see here, I'm going to replace all of these. They don't look worn, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it all. You just take a screwdriver and a hammer, knock all those sleeves out, insert the new ones. I'll show you that here in a second. So, one of the issues is trying to get those out. What do you use? I actually set up three sockets so it could set in, not wobble around. But what I did find was a 3 8 extension works perfect. Put the other end in there, it slides right through. Get it through so far, then just put it on the side of the socket so it can come out the rest of the way out. But man, that's slick. I didn't know how I was going to get those out of there. We'll go this way on this one. You can see the wear on them. All the way through you can even see a little wear here I'm gonna let it go for now and I'm gonna just keep that in mind the new sleeves should pop right in there you go she's ready for a symbol do that to the rest of these, I should be good to go. That's a little tight, but man, is that working great!
So you can see I have the whole axle resting on my floor jack. All I have to do is knock out this last one and I can put this side back together. first new bolt. So I'm getting ready to put it back together. The only problem is the U-bracket here is spread too far apart. I can't get a nut on the, the back of the bolt. So what I'm going to do is just C-clamp it. I'm going to squeeze her a little bit and get her back in place. Now I can release it and tighten it. So as you can see, I got a little play in between there. I checked the other side, which come from the factory, and theirs is just snug. So I'm going to go ahead and keep tightening on this one up. So you guys know there is two sides to these nuts you can see the cutouts here those actually tighten up and grab the threads you can see maybe how they're just a little bit bigger so make sure you put those on the correct way those want to be on the outside so as you can see now i'm removing the last one i pulled the other wheel off getting rid of the junk sleeve putting the new one in connect these And as you can see, we have a little discrepancy here. It don't fit. I got to bring this up, which this has to come down. I'll figure that out here in a minute. So being a boilermaker by trade, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of a fulcrum. Let's see what this does for it. Oh, yeah. Puts me right in place. So actually... I needed two. One to push this one down, one to push this one down. So I'm going to kneel on one and push on the other. That should get me where I need to be. Oh, yeah.
just like downtown. So it took a little finagling, but we're all together. All new bushings, all new bolts, all new shackles, the whole spiel. I hope this helps, guys. All in all, once you find everything, I don't know, hour, hour and a half aside, I would think. I'm sure the next side will go faster. This is the first time I've ever done it. When I found the first side, you got to check both sides after that. So, of course, I changed both sides. I bought parts enough. I think the total was like $64 for everything. I'll tell you what, the, the key tool for me was that 3 8 extension. It fit perfectly in there to knock all them plastic bushings out. And without that, I wasn't sure how I was going to get it out. I'm sure there's other things that you guys use, but when in doubt, grab that. It fits perfect. Really worked well. It's kind of a cheap fix. Um, not real expensive on parts. Took a little labor, a couple hours, a couple, two and a half hours or so. Uh, one side gets easier after the other, that's for sure. Hope this helps, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys out there.